This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Dave Caldwell, we've interviewed you once before after a Leewood loss at your call. That was just as devastating, wasn't it? Um, I'll take the blame. Um, nah, I'm gutted for him. I'm not so gutted for him. I thought, I thought he was boxing so well. Um, I thought he got off to a, a little bit of an erratic start where he was exchanging a little bit too much. He was probably doing a little bit too much with the, with the tension and everything. And then he settled down, got stuck to his game plan. Um, I thought he boxed really well. Controlled the distance. Uh, was taking up space with the lead and walking Lara onto shots beautifully. And I thought he was chipping him away, chipping away, wearing him out, stabbing him to the body, hurt him a couple of times. Yes, there were times when every so often, you know, Lara would have some success, but he just made that mistake, didn't he? he you know, exchanged through through a hook with a hooker and, and got beat to it and paid the price, and that was it. There wasn't long left in the round. I've heard everybody asking the question, was Ben Davison right to stop that fight? I'll change that. Would Ben Davison have been neglectful not to stop that fight? I, I, I think he... Listen, it, Ben gets a lot of stick, right? And one thing that you can... You know, when, when trainers go on this and all the fighters are winning and this, 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 and, you know, he gets stick. He didn't care about his fighters winning the fight. He cared about his fighter being safe. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. There was a little bit of a melee in the ring at the end. Did, did you see what it was? I heard that he's, Lara had spat at Josh Warrington. Oh, was Warrington? Oh, Warrington right. was ringside and apparently Lara went over and spat at him. Okay, okay, so that's what it was. I was wondering what was going on. Did this taste for when Lee Wood still prostrate on the floor? Yeah, yeah. He's, but, you know, we've seen before, he's a very, very emotional sort of guy. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's how I wrote that. It's, you know, it, it shows shows the the kind of wild man that his style kind of portrays um but yeah i can see you got it dave so i will keep it really short did lee would set the template in those first six rounds and how to beat mauricio lara yeah he can, listen this is why lara was a better man tonight because he won can't take that away from him no matter he was he was losing but he won the fight he's a better man tonight but Lee Wood's got, showed that he's got the capabilities of reversing that result. Lee Wood can beat Maurizio Lara, without a doubt. Will will the rematch carry the same risks of him getting knocked out again? Obviously so, because he's proved that Lara's proved he can knock him out again. But is it a fight that you'd want to see again? Because it was a good fight in there. I think everybody would want to see that fight again. Just personal one, Dave. What's next for you? Your table? March 4th in Newcastle. I've got, I've, got See you there. Tri- I've got two trips to Newcastle. I've got March 4th, Newcastle with Stephen Cairns. And then March 18th, Hobie Price is fighting for a title. Um, on the Zone show, Matchroom show, along with Muhammad Ali making his debut. So I've got two on March 18th. Dave, lovely to speak to you. I'll let you go and have a chat with Lee. How did Newcastle get on today? Uh, they got beat off Liverpool. But my team won. I can only say that for the fourth time this season. You had a big win, didn't you? Who did you win? We beat Leeds, we've knocked them into the bottom, yeah. You'll be pleased with that as a Man United fan. Daesh, Daesh is doing well. Well done, well done. Good to see. Dave Caldwell, I always appreciate your time, mate. Safe journey home. Cheers, mate.